A significant investment in public transportation. That's a move the city of Fresno is ready to make, but they want to hear from you first. Action News reporter Ruben Contreras now joining us live in the studio with how your input can improve fax bus service. Ruben? Yeah, that's right, Jason. The Fresno Area Express was designed back in the 1960s for a much smaller city, and city leaders need your help to restructure service for a city that has grown tremendously in the last 50 years. Catching a bus in the city of Fresno is a little difficult in some areas, and city leaders want to change that. Before they make any major decisions, they want to hear from you first. Do you want us to start providing or looking at ways to provide services to areas that we no, currently do not serve, or do you want us to look at increasing the level of convenience so that using public transportation uh, is something that you would consider? City leaders say over the last four to five years, there has been a significant decline in ridership. The recession and new forms of transportation like Uber or Lyft are partly to blame. Another reason, the city of Fresno has grown in all directions over the last 50 years. And the system is essentially uh, an extension or a adaptation of, of the same system that was around in the 1960s. Nothing has really changed. We've just extended service further, further north in order to accommodate growth. Rudd says areas like the El Paseo Shopping Center in northwest Fresno and the Clovis Community College campus in northeast Fresno have no bus service. Public input on a series of workshops next month could change that, but changes are happening now with Fax 15 and bus rapid transit services to increase ridership. If you were to drive down either Blackstone or Ventura, you would see that uh, there's very little traffic control. Everything's been pulled out, so all the concrete work has been completed. Uh, they're installing the last shelter canopies. The city's director of transportation says bus rapid transit will be ready to go in the new year, picking up riders every 10 minutes on routes like Blackstone Avenue and Van Ness Avenue in downtown Fresno. Meanwhile, Fax 15 along Shaw and Cedar Avenues is already helping increase ridership. Now, the first of eight public workshops will be held this Saturday at Fresno City College from 1 p.m., 11 a.m. until 1 p.m. After the workshops, an analysis will be complete in the spring, and we could see changes on fax services by next summer. Ruben Contreras, ABC 30, Action News.